So I have released a guide on display settings that you need to disable on a Windows system before you run any display calibration. Since I have released that guide, Windows 10 have been upgraded a few times and there are a few new settings that are available and we need to make sure that we turn them off. This is going to be the upgraded guide on display settings that you need to turn off before you run any calibration on your Windows system. I'm Art Suwan Sang and this is Art is Right. Before we start, please subscribe if you're new and click on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload cool new videos like this. So in this case, when I talk about display, I'm talking about any kind of display that you want to run a calibration on. For instance, if you have a laptop and all in one PC, all these settings would apply to you as well as if you have an external display, whether that external display is capable of hardware calibration or not. So to change these settings, we are going to start at the desktop, right click, go into display setting. From there, you will have the display control dialog. Click on identify if you're not sure which display you're looking at. A number will pop up on the lower left hand corner of the display telling you which one it is. In this case, my display number one is my laptop display. From there, what I'm going to do is make some changes to my laptop or any built in display for that matter. Number one, what I want to do is uncheck change brightness automatically when lighting changes. The reason why I want to do this is because I want to calibrate my laptop and set it to a fixed brightness point or a fixed luminance in this case so that I know if I'm doing color critical work, I want to make sure that it's always on that fixed luminance. The thing is that with a laptop device, if you take it into different environment and you have that setting enabled, it's always going to be sensing the different brightness level in the environment that you're in and it's going to constantly change and adjust the brightness on your display. When it does that, it will change the way how your eyes are perceiving and seeing color, causing the color to not be quite as accurate as you want it to be. So in this case, make sure that you come in and uncheck that so that your laptop doesn't change a different environment. Now, this doesn't mean that if you go into a bright environment, you can't bring your laptop display up so that it's brighter. You can, but when you come back to an environment that you're doing color critical work, you want to make sure that you bring the brightness or the luminance level down to the level that you have it set it to. I have made a video and guide on how to calibrate your display and a quick shortcut how you can change your display brightness and know where to set your display brightness exactly at the level that you want. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Moving on, the next thing we want to make sure that we turn off is night light. When night light is on, what it's going to do is that at set time of day is going to change your display white point to make it warmer so that it's actually better for your circadian rhythm. The problem is that we don't want the screen to go brighter at night if we're working late at night, especially if we're doing color grading or color critical work in that case. So make sure you turn that off. You want to make sure you scroll down and under window HD color, if there's no toggle, leave it as is, you're good. Next up, what I'm going to do here is click on number two. This is my external display. So the moment I click on number two, a few things happen. Change brightness automatically is now check again. Make sure that you uncheck that. Night light is turned off. In this case, what you want to do is under window HD color, you want to make sure that that toggle is set off as well. Because if you don't, Windows will talk directly with the firmware of the display if your display is capable of showing HDR content and it's going to automatically put the display into HDR mode. The problem when doing that is that your colors are going to look desaturated because the screen is trying to scale everything down to accommodate a high dynamic range you know, stream or high dynamic range content for that matter. So make sure that you disable HDR before you run any calibration. From here you're set, you're ready to go in and calibrate your window display. I hope that you find this guide on the settings that you need to turn off on a window system before you do a calibration helpful. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments section below. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you are new, hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload cool new videos like this. And until next time, are just right.